Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And on the way, live action from Ligue 2 BKT. It's Paris FC and they take on Socio. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And this confrontation is underway. Could be troublesome. Oh, he's gone for goal. And blocked for now. The cross is on. Well, it's one pass after another. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Not there to intercept. Gori. Iglesias. Really a very poor ball. They need to get tighter. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Camera. 
Iglesias. Julian Lopez. Here's Camara. Lopez. Jonathan Iglesias. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, not hard to read that pass. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, good strike! And fine goalkeeping. Short corner it is. Oh, he's given the ball away. Breaking at pace. Making progress. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Oh, could be! Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So on with the match, 2-1 is the scoreline, what's going to happen next? Well as you can see the hosts have controlled the possession, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Now what can they do from here? Well, possibilities inside the box. Abdallah Indur moving the ball effectively and in with a real chance in it goes delighted to be two in front things look good for them now Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Oh, moving it nicely. And space for the cross. Good looking ball. 
They've regained possession. And do they mean business on this occasion? And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Still looking for space. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Could play it in. Fruitful looking attack. It's a neat move. Well, it's one pass after another. Jonathan Iglesias. Firing it in. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Who can he pick out? Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Lopez. This is looking threatening. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, he tried to get it to dip right at the end of its flight. Well, it's great technique. He strikes it so cleanly, but it just doesn't come down in time. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Real chance. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Ten minutes to go then. 
And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the match rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. And deep into the penalty area. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Chance to cross. And crossing towards the far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Here it is now, a substitution. Joseph Lopi. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Gori. A chance to whip it in. Losing possession here. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.